Welcome to the Elephant Engineering Solutions YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the curb ramp dynamic blocks. You can see we have, we have three different styles. We have the end-on curb ramp, we have the flared curb ramp, and we have the side curb ramp. For this situation, I'm going to use the flared ramp. When I select the block, you can see the, the dynamic functionality I have available. The first thing is the alignment grip. In this situation, I want to align it with this curb line here. The other features that we have, we have this stretch grip that allows us to increase or decrease the depth of the curb. You can flip the ramp. You can rotate the ramp. You can also stretch the length of the ramp and you can also increase the width of the ramp. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this at the intersection and we will set the width equal to the width of the sidewalk. Let's go to this situation where you have the accessible walkway and it's crossing through this planter island. For this, for this case, I want to use the end on ramp. And you can see we have the same functionality. We can stretch the curb. We can align it. We can flip it. Or we can increase the length of the ramp and the width of the ramp. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up with the intersection. And I'll set the curb width. And then I'm going to set the overall width of the ramp equal to the sidewalk width. And then I want this guy to be six feet long. Let's do the same thing on the other side of this planner. Now for this situation, I wanted to use the side curb ramp. This has the same functionality. You can align it. You can stretch the landing. You can stretch the ramp on either side and you can stretch the overall width of the ramp to match whatever your sidewalk situation is. So let's go ahead and align it up with the curb. And then I will oh snap this guy over here. And I'm going to stretch the landing to match up with my path width. And I'm going to stretch the, the overall ramp depth to match the sidewalk. Okay, and I want each of these to be six feet, each of these ramps to be six feet. For all of these ramps, when you click on it, you have a visibility state available to you. And all that does is it just changes whether or not you see the truncated dome or not. You can turn the truncated dome off or you can turn the truncated dome on. Okay, there you go. If you'd like to buy these blocks, you can visit my website. It's www.elephant-eng.com or you can click on the link in the description below. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified as new blocks become available. Thanks for watching and take care.